Here is an example of an ER diagram with two entities. We have staff and branch. And here we see the relationship is managed as staff manages branch. In, this is an ER diagram in UML notation. In UML notation, this is how it looks. You can see the little numbers. Staff manages zero dot dot one branch. And that means a staff member can manage zero or one branches. If it was zero or more, it would be zero dot dot star. If it was one or more, one dot dot star. So we read it this way. You can see my mouse moving. A staff manages zero or one branches. But it can also be looked at in reverse. A branch is managed by exactly one. One dot dot one means exactly one. So if it was one or more, again, one dot dot star. But one dot dot one means exactly one. So let's read it backwards. A branch is managed by exactly one staff member. So while staff can manage zero or one branch, so a staff member may not manage any branches, or a staff, man a staff member could manage one branch, a branch is managed by exactly one, one staff member. Every branch has to be remembered by has to be managed by exactly one staff member. And that's why you can see here it says each branch is managed by one member of staff. So that's how we can read it. And these are called multiplicity numbers. So the in the squares you have the entities. Sometimes you'll see it with the primary key listed. Sometimes you'll see all the attributes listed. Sometimes you won't see any, just a square that says branch and the table name. But um, you definitely should have at least the table name listed inside the box, and that's the entity. Um, so this is the entity. At this point, we this is really, you would write these entity relationship diagrams before you even have tables written out. Um, this is before you do all your SQL, so you're, it's really more of a concept. So your entity, you have this entity staff, you have this entity branch, and you have this relationship, and the relationship is called manages, because staff manages branch.